JetTech software calibration. Now to calibrate any version of JetTech software, first open the software package by double clicking its icon. For purposes of demonstration I am using JetTech Pro. Now having first installed the software, the first time you open it you will see this red warning sign that warns you your barometer has not been calibrated. To calibrate your barometer press this green button and the calibration screen is revealed. First select your units. If it is millibars and degrees C your barometer displays then that is the default setting. For imperial units uh, degrees Fahrenheit and inches of mercury simply select this button again. Now if you read these notes you will see that this first box requires the height of your barometer at the time you're doing the calibration above sea level. There are many internet cartography sites where this information is available. Let's quickly demonstrate that by opening a web browser and in this case navigating to streetmap.co.uk and you can see here the location I've selected is Shennington Car Club indicated by the arrow. Now if we follow this contour around you will see that Shennington Car Club is at an altitude of 140 meters. This information is readily available across the internet. Or perhaps your local library and an ordnance survey map of your location. Please remember that if you are conducting this calibration in your home office say and that is on the second floor of your house then you need to add that height difference to your ground level height. So I have determined earlier that my location is 51 meters above sea level. The next piece of information is a simple one simply the pressure currently displayed on your barometer instrument. In my case it is of course the JetTech Weather Pro and it is currently displaying a thousand and one millibars. Just a quick word about the JetTech Weather Pro available from rotaxjetting.com. This unit is very accurate and of course the software has been designed to use it but this process of calibration of course will calibrate any weather station for use with JetTech software. The advantages however of the JetTech Weather Pro are a remote temperature and humidity sensor that is easily located in the correct position which is of course at ground level in the shade. This two piece sender unit um, comprises of the unit itself and a bracket which I have screwed conveniently to the bottom of my trailer and every time I arrive at the track the first task is to clip the sender unit into that bracket which is nicely in the shade and provides reliable readings to the main unit. Having entered the pressure currently displayed on your barometer the final piece of information required is the mean sea level pressure. Now this can be obtained from local weather stations, local weather forecasts, airports and of course the internet. Now let's quickly open a web browser and navigate to Miami in Florida, the home of one of our US development partners, Advanced Karting. And this is the figure we're looking for. 
in this case 1019 he hectopascals or millibars um, and that is the MSL figure again in my case the current pressure is 1015 now having entered these three pieces of information you simply press the calibrate button and the JetTech software completes the calibration process calibrating itself with your weather station to an accuracy of 0.299% of absolute and again the note reminds you that if you reset your barometer up i.e. changing its batteries it is always worthwhile recalibrating the software package press OK and then lock and the process is complete you can now go on to use the world's most accurate jetting software